Hey guys, let me show you how you start a Django project in Docker. Okay, let's create a new project on GitLab, Django Docker, and clone it to our hard drive. Git clone our project. And let's open this project in PyCharm. Okay, so now the project is open in Python. We are going to create the needed files to to uh, start our project. So the first one is I'm going to be a git ignore file. And we are adding this file to our git repository. And let's add the um, files that we have to ignore for a project. For example, the first one is the idea folder from PyCharm, then we also want to ignore some Python cache files. And Python pre-compiled files. And if you are on Mac, you are going to ignore the DS store files. Okay. The next file we are going to create is the Docker file. So let's create a new file called Docker file. Note the capital D here and add a line from. We have to specify a other Docker image here where we want to subclass our image from. And this is coming from Docker Hub. Let's go over to Docker Hub. So hub.docker.com and search for Miniconda 3 here. Miniconda is just a small version of Anaconda. And since we are using Python 3, we want to install Miniconda 3. So let's take the first one here and copy the title. And we also want to have a look in the tags section here to find out which one is the latest tag. So it's 4512. So let's go to our file, our Docker file and paste in the name of the image and the tag. And that's everything we need for the Docker file at the moment. The next file we need to create is a Docker compose file. So let's create that one, docker compose.yml. And let's add here a version. That's the first thing. We are going to create a Docker compose file based on the version three, syntax version three. And we are adding our first service so services and we specify a name for our service, which is our, it's going to be our Docker container. So our Docker container, the first one is called app. That's just something I made up. I want to keep this consistent over all my projects. Um, and here we are specifying the Docker image that we want to use for this container. In our case, we want to define the image name ourselves. So let's say this is the same as our project name, Django-Docker. And we want to create an image based on the latest tag. So we specify latest here. The next thing is we need some ports to open um, to our host and specify um, what mappings we need. So let's do this ports. We specify 8,000 and colon 8,000. This will open a port um, from our container to our host. And um, it's both inside and outside of the container. It's 8,000. The next thing is we need some files that are going to create it on our system. And to make sure they are on our hard drive, we are going to create uh, volume mapping here. So let's do volumes. And we specify a relative path in our project. So it's dot slash. And I'm going to create a folder for this later. I'm going to call this app and colon for the mapping. And we specify slash app, which is going to be inside the container at the root level. I think that's everything we need now. So let's go ahead and create these Docker image. We are in our project folder. We are specifying Docker build minus T. Then the name of our image, Django Docker. 
and the tag name latest. And don't forget the dot at the end to make sure that Docker knows to take the current Docker file in the current folder. So since I've downloaded Miniconda 3 already before, this takes for me just a second. For you, it may take longer to download it and build it. So now we are almost ready to create our Django files. The only thing that's missing is a folder called app. So let's create this one. A new empty folder app. And now we can start off by spinning up a Docker container and creating our Django files. So let's go to our terminal and type in docker compose run and then dash dash service ports service that dash ports and then the name of the service which is app in our case and we want to execute bash to get a bash shell so let's do this bash and run it this will spin up a new docker container and now we are ready to install some Django and some Python other Python packages. So let's do this pip install Django. So now that Django is installed, let's go ahead and create the Django project. To do this, let's go into the app folder where our mapping is done. And from here, you can now execute Django commands. So for example, Django dash admin start project. And I'm going to name my project project. And I want to create this project in the current folder. So let's do this with a dot. Now this is done. Let's see what's happened. With an ls, you can see now we have a manage pi and a project folder. And if you switch back to PyCharm, you should be able to see this in your app folder too. So you have now a project folder and a manage pi. Now to finish things off, now we can create a Django server and see if it works. Let's go back to our terminal and type in Python manage pi run server 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 colon 8000. This will start a Python uh, server, a Django red run server, and then we can go to our browser and type in the same um, port. So localhost on port 8000 should give us the it works page from Django. The only thing left that is now to do you add your files to Git and commit your project files.